Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds. And today we are going to be playing around with some hydrogen vector thrust. So uh, let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is probably plant down a landing gear itself. It's just a little test because um, actually hydrogen thrust, while it does seem to work very well, um, and you get more efficiency out of it, it might be a better way, maybe a better way to go. Than atmospheric no atmospheric uses battery i mean if i wanted to get into space i would definitely do this design so what we're gonna need is a hydrogen tank right so they have new ones too oh i forgot they completely got new ones uh let's see hydrogen tanks small hydrogen tanks huh what can we do with these because technically Hmm, I should be able to fill these up, right? That's not a bad idea. But it wouldn't be spinning on a perfect axis. I'm just thinking through my head what's a good idea because we could definitely use uh, the new hydrogen tanks for... Hold on. Uh, rotor, and we want... Because advanced rotor, I believe, is only big. Yeah. So either way, we're going to have to start off the base with uh, a larger hydrogen tank. Let's make this uh, red just because it is going to be sideways because this is the only way we could kind of get the tank to go. So if I put two motors here, I would still need one on top. So I would need to use a connector. Small cargo junction, this one. Right, and then I could do one of these guys like that. What's down there? That's also a big connector. Oh, that's actually this is starting to look like that. Um, one of those ships from what do you call it? Odyssey? No, I can't think of the name right now. Oh man, that's not gonna work because this goes this way, right? So if it goes this way, I can't turn it up and down because I can't do that. Okay, I see what I need to do. This is actually a pretty big build if you're gonna do it this way. So we need that. And we're also going to need that and for this one since it's already facing to the back we need to be able to go up and down this will still have to be like that um, left and right yeah no we would still need to do this and technically we could run small thrusters if we want to Probably small thrusters so we don't burn through everything, right? So let's pop in, bam, small thruster here. That kind of looks really odd. I'm not liking how it's positioned, but it should be fine. There we go. <laughs> that looks gross. Hydrogen engine, just in case, even though this is a creative world, we probably don't need it, but we're going to throw one here anyway. Um, let's turn that upside down. This way we could put a cockpit up in front. It's not the prettiest of designs. I really don't like how this back is, but it should serve the purpose enough just to see what we can do with this. Uh, programming block. Drop this here. And we're gonna use the original uh, vector thrust script. And uh, still need battery, forgot about that. Okay, where am I, where am I vector thrust? That was a little weird. Vector thrust two, hit okay. 
And how come I don't need battery? Because the hydrogen creates battery. Okay. Let's still put a battery anyway. Yeah, that looks gross. That looks a little bit better. Still looks gross. Why did I run out of battery? Oh. <sighs> gyroscope. It needs the data from the gyroscope to feed off um, how the thing's gonna work. That's what I believe. Let's go back, programming block. Recompile, run. Still not enough battery? Why is this not working? Do I not have enough hydrogen? Is that the problem right now? Because I can't seem to get this to work. It says type max required input. Okay, so let's start removing a few of these. Uh, stop shaking. There you go. Still no good, huh? I guess it doesn't want to work with hydrogen engines. I always thought it did. Huh, the script. Let's see what I can do to do this. So, same, everything is fine. Normal running, nacelles, greedy, true, edit. Uh, Alright guys, after reading the documentation a little bit, I figured it out. It was actually user error, not the script error. So what happened is, um, all you have to do is actually put jetpack onto one of the programming blocks. So basically I'll do it like right here. And this will enable the thrusters. For hydrogen thrusters, I don't know why it turned off at first. Maybe because it requires a lot of resources. So it's default to disable. But once you do jet pack like this and click on that button, it will automatically enable all the thrusters and you are basically good to go. And actually for this amount of thrusters, um, while you can go in space, it's actually not that efficient. Like I'm already falling, just trying to navigate around. Uh, but for atmospheric thrusters, obviously it's a lot better. But this, this here is not that great. Looks cool. Oh, now I remember, uh, Firefly. It kind of looks like the Firefly. A little bit, like I'm, oh, I'm out of thrusters. Oh, I'm out of hydrogen. Uh, whoa, <laughs> everything blew up except for me. That's a way to end it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this, I will probably make a bigger ship with more hydrogen in it so we can fly a little bit longer. But honestly, that was pretty cool. Uh, not as good as atmospheric, but uh, at least this one you could actually take into space. So maybe we should give that a try. Build a, a vector thrust ship on Earth and try to get into space with it because it seems to be pretty efficient because for 4%, I think that's how much hydrogen I had. Uh, I flew pretty far with it. Anyway, uh, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.